Hey guys, and welcome back to another game maker tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be uh, continuing our space shooter, and in this episode, we're gonna be looking at the HUD. Now, if we run our game here, we have already have we already have a text that displays the wave that we're on, as you can see right there, and we can shoot um, the asteroids and create a screen shake along with an explosion. But we need a health system right here. So if we get hit and get hit again we're gonna die but we have no idea like what health we have and so today we're gonna be doing that um, first things first we are going to just fix up a little bug that we have it's not really a bug it's just we forgot to implement this feature and that's in the step event of the O asteroid in the collision with the player we are instead of doing instant destroy just like the collision with the bullet we're gonna change the asteroid into the O explode, X Y O explode um, object. Uh, oops. Oh my bad. The instance change only needs two parameters, and if you don't know, this uh, true is basically saying, uh, do we want to do any other events after we change? And we do because we want it to destroy itself after the animation is ended. So, and we also want to create an instance called a shake. So this is activate screen shake. And this here is exploding. Cool. Now let's tick that. And what that basically does is if the asteroid collides with the player, it'll also have that uh, exploding animation. Alrighty, bang. You can see right there. Cool. Um, all right, now let's do the HUD. So the first step is to go to my own player. In the create event, we are gonna define a new variable called dead. Well, I guess it's a global variable. So this is basically telling um, the user if uh, our player is dead or not. So let's go to our step event. And if a HP is smaller than zero, we're gonna go global.dead equals true. This is because when we die, let's go to OHUD. Draw. When we die, it's gonna display game over. Let's do here if global oops, global dot dead equals false. We're gonna draw the health bar. Draw health bar. We'll do the wave text later and put that in a condition later. So we're gonna go draw sprites. Now we have a sprite called S hearts, and this is basically um, four images which have uh, zero health. 1 health, 2 health, and 3 health. Now what's really cool about this is that the image number, which is image 0, 1, 2, 3, corresponds to the amount of HP you have. Now this makes it so much easier and it's a really uh, neat way of um, doing this. So once again, if you don't have these sprites, um, in the first episode I did in fact leave a link in the description to the download uh, files. So we're going to say draw sprite draw the hearts as hearts and the next one is the sub image so what um yeah the sub image of uh the hearts so as i said before the sub image is actually the exact same to amount of hp we have so we're going to use o player dot hp and just do 10 10 as the x and y coordinates uh, the next thing we, we want to draw if we are alive is draw this. Sweet. And then that. And now we're going to say else if the if we are in fact dead, we're going to draw game over. So draw text. And for our x coordinate, we're going to do room width 
divided by 2, which is basically in the center. And we'll minus 80 for that. Room height slash 2 to make it centered. And the text is game over. Sweet. So that's the end of that. And let's see how it runs. All right, cool. Now you can see here we've got our health bar right there. And let's just take a hit and bang, we minus one health. Take another hit, boom. Take another hit and game over. So now we've got a fully functional game that works and is pretty, pretty well done. Um, thanks for all of your support and uh, f for watching this series. Um, if you guys would like me to continue the series to add more features such as upgrades, um, achievements, maybe like a, a different worlds, you know, you can just suggest in the comments and I'll see if I can implement these features. If you do, feel free to comment below and like this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions for any other series, uh, just let me know. You know, it, I really would like um, more suggestions and feedback. Uh, also, if you didn't know, I did in fact release a asset on the Game Maker Marketplace, which is a cookie clicker asset. So if you like that game and you want to create your own, feel free to just check that out. It's around, I think it's on sale right now, 50%. And um, yeah, I'll put that in the description box. But feel free to support me. And yeah, all right, cool. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.